Good afternoon. My name is Ruth and I am with Faye Hollow Homestead. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking care of some squash bugs. Because uh, let's face it, squash bugs are something that you have to deal with every single year if you're going to be planting curcubits. Now, one of the best things that I did was since we had a ginormous, like a, a really crazy infestation of squash bugs a couple of years ago, what I did was I just didn't plant curcubits last year at all. And that did a really good job of kind of destroying the life cycle of a lot of them, but it's never gonna take care of everything completely. So what I'm doing this year is I'm planting curcubits throughout my gardens. I have some in my food forest. I have some in my, my vegetable garden. I have some up by my herbs and I have some on this hill right here, which I'm calling my pumpkin patch. So this is squash, watermelon. No, I don't have any more. This is squash winter squash and pumpkins right here. And what I'm gonna be doing is all I need is a glove like this. It's got this nice rubber, rubber finger situation going on. And then I also use a bowl of water that's filled with a bunch of soap. So this is all I use and it works really well. The idea of trying to manage squash bugs used to intimidate me quite a lot because I felt like, you know, they're bugs. They just come from nowhere and they're going to be ending up everywhere. And how am I going to ever find them all? It's a losing ba battle from the start. And I just want to say, if you're feeling that way, it's not true at all. It's actually really easy to manage them as long as you just kind of do a little bit of prep work. So that work is going along all these squash plants and just looking at the leaves and seeing if I see any babies, adults, or eggs. Now I'm going to show you what they look like because I'm sure we're going to find some. And the adults and the babies, that's what these gloves are for because I'm going to tell you what, I, there's nothing worse in the world than the smell of, of squashed squash bugs on your fingers or anywhere around you. It's, it's really terrible. So I don't like to have those. Um, that's why I wear the gloves. I don't want that on my skin. So that's the only reason. It just makes me a little squeamish. And okay, that's it. Let's go. Okay, so I found our first squash bug eggs. And here you can see them. I think they're actually really beautiful. But they're definitely getting to the point where they're going to start hatching soon. And then I'm going to have to deal with all of that amount of squash bugs and then their babies and so on and so forth. I can halt the production of a hundred or so squash bugs just by getting rid of these eggs right here. So that's encouraging, right? And I just found it underneath the squash plant right here. Hey, Sawyer. He's always got to be with me. Let's see if there's any more. Nope. Nope. No. Okay. We're looking pretty good. Now, squash bugs will not lay just their eggs underneath the leaves. Sometimes they'll lay them on top of the leaves and usually it'll be like in this little, this little divot right there. So here, watch this. Okay, so I've got my water and all I'm gonna do is I'm not squeamish about the eggs. I'm just going to scrape them off. Into this water. Now you could just squish them and drop them on the ground, but you run the risk of not squishing all of them and one or two escaping and hatching. And I just don't want to risk that. So I make sure that I put it in this. Oh, here's another one right here. Okay, so I'm going to scrape it off. I just make sure that I get it in the bowl. And then I can flush this down the drain in my house. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. Like I am sure to get them all. Okay, well that's that plant. I already looked at this plant, it was fine. Now, you might notice 
how uh, nuts my pumpkin patch is, but I'm okay with it. These are my, this whole hill, I'm gonna kill all the grass on this as soon as the pumpkins are done doing their thing. And I'm gonna put in more beds like this for lavender. And next year we'll plant a second row on this side. There will be a path right here, but uh, this will just be a lavender bed after this. Hey, turkey turkeys. They're always next to me. And I have a ton of squash plants. Oh, there's some eggs. And I'll take care of those. It's really not a lengthy process, especially if you're getting it when they're eggs. If you wait too long and you let them start hatching, then it becomes a problem because you have to find all the bugs, you have to squish them, it's not fun. So it is what it is. You're always gonna miss a couple and that's fine. A couple are not gonna destroy your whole crop. But if you don't do this at all, that's when you have to worry about destroying your entire crop. Okay, so I just put those in the soap water and then what I do with the soap water afterwards is I, I basically just flush it down the toilet. So I really am sure to get rid of it. Now, a lot of people say that you can squish the eggs, but the, the eggs are so hard that it's very difficult to squish them completely and get every single one. And so I think, you know, what's the harm in just taking those eggs and flushing them down the toilet, right? It takes no more work really uh, than it does to squish those eggs on the thing, on the leaf, uh, than it does to scrape them off into the, the little jar of water with the soap. Um, also, some people say that you can just flick them off onto the ground that um, they are not on a leaf anymore, which is their food source, but nature is very hardy and it is easy to assume that they might be able to climb back up onto that plant and go onto a leaf and find one. So why is it so hard to put them into a, a little thing of water and flush it down the toilet? I don't think it is. I think it's very, very valuable and useful to know that you're not just, you're not just disrupting their cycle, but you're interrupting it completely. Now, you don't have to go out to the garden and check every single day. Eggs from squash bugs take 10 days to hatch. And so if you go out once a week, you're getting a nice, good enough overlap there where if there's one or two that you missed, you're probably gonna be able to catch it or at least catch it when it, like right after they hatched where you can still get those bugs. Also, if you see any squash bugs, stick them in that jar of water with soap and they will die very quickly. The soap water does uh, kill them. So uh, you don't have to worry about squishing them. You don't have to worry about that smell. It's really disgusting, but it's even better if you can get the adult squash bug also saves a whole bunch of steps because uh, an adult can lay many many eggs and if you just get that one adult then you don't have to worry about those eggs anymore now a couple years ago our infestation was so bad that I mean you'd walk underneath the the squash trellis and they would be raining down on you and it was the most disgusting thing in the world. And since then I have done so much research, so much research because I never want that to happen again. And pumpkins are my favorite vegetable to grow. Not necessarily to eat, well no, I love pumpkins. Pumpkin puree, puree pumpkin smoothies, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, I love all of it. So I don't know, I might like pumpkins even more than I like tomatoes, we'll see. Um, it's a toss up. Anyway, so, uh, to not be able to grow those was not an option for me anymore. And I did do that one year of interrupted cycle, but I'm not gonna go another year without pumpkins. So uh, I did a ton of research. I hope you trust me on this. If you don't, go do your own research. You'll probably find what I found as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this helps with your squash, squash bug infestation and it kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off. I think it's super meditative to go and just look under the leaves and take a quiet day doing that. And literally it took me an hour to do all of my squash plants, like the entire lavender hill, pumpkin patch, all the random places that I had it in the food forest and in the vegetable garden. It was super easy, not very hard, especially when you get those vines, you can just flip the vine over and see all underneath it, all the leaves. So there you go. Have a wonderful day. Hit the like notify, uh, notification bell, hit the, uh, the subscribe button. That would help me out a lot too. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful night and stay blessed.